men working late at a convenience store are lucky to be alive after being shot at during armed robberies. But as 12 News' Christina Palladino reports, it was not until Saeed Sarwani, the clerk at a Waukesha gas station, was killed that police connected the gunman in this terrifying ring of crime. We're learning more about the eerily similar crime sprees that led up to the tragic homicide here at the Waukesha Sitco. At least two other clerks in two different cities could have easily lost their lives. Kenneth Thomas is the man prosecutors say shot Saeed Sharwani in the chest, killing him as the 65 year old tried to fight the teen during an armed robbery. Thomas is also suspected in at least six other incidents across the area this month. According to a complaint, Thomas and 28-year-old Darren Malone, who's still on the run, shot up this liquor store in West Dallas, nearly killing the clerk there. Then a few days later, they stormed into this Brookfield BP gas station demanding lottery tickets and cash. Just released surveillance pictures show the two in the same green mask with guns drawn. Investigators say they shot at the clerk because he wasn't moving fast enough. 12 News spoke with Thomas's girlfriend, who says he was bragging to her just days before these armed robberies about his new gun and wads of cash. Just this last time that he was over, he brought a gun to my house and he had a lot of cash. And I thought that was weird because he doesn't really work. Police also arrested the accused getaway driver in all these armed robberies, 23 year old Jerrica Cotton. She told authorities she, quote, gave them a ride to be helpful. We asked fellow co workers to talk about Saeed Sharwani's tragic death. They did not want to go on camera. His family has also requested their privacy. In Waukesha, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News. Kenneth Thomas is being held on a million dollars bail. Police say the third suspect, Darren Malone, is considered armed and dangerous.